Couple things to mention in this video. There is some massive, uh, these are pretty massive changes that just hit the server live with a hot fix. So we're gonna talk about that. We're also giving away a Starforge PC, which you can see on Twitter if you're interested in. And I will talk more about that at the end of the video. With that being said, let's go ahead and get going. I just woke up and took a look at these changes. They're actually like really significant. These are way, way big changes in terms of Nightmare Dungeons. Let me actually show you what I'm talking about. So there was a hot fix. There's actually three of them in this deploy, but this was the third one. So this is the hot fix related to the Nightmare Dungeon change that they stated. Now, what they actually said is 100 tier is going to look like 70 tier, basically. But when you actually see what that means in terms of stat breakdown, it's pretty, it's pretty significant. So tier 35, I mean, barely any reduction, right? We got 2% HP, 1% damage. But as you go down, it starts to get more significant. Tier 50, 20%, and 13%. Look at this, tier 70, HP reduced by 60%, damage reduced by 54%. Look at tier 100, HP reduced by 82%. And the damage they're going to do is by 79%. 9%. Now, if we remember from the patch notes, this is actually significant because now what happens after the postseason patch is you have to be 10 levels above for the minions in order to get the max XP bonus. It used to be three, meaning the, the amount of the Nightmare Dungeon tier that you would have needed to push above your level was much lower in order to get the max experience the game would offer. But now because of these changes, this means it is significantly easier to push the higher tier Nightmare Dungeons. This does two things with the new experience buffs well buffs you know after a nerf here with this nightmare dungeon change um this is actually going to mean that higher tier nightmare dungeons are easier to accomplish which means the maximum experience in the game is going to be uh easier it also means when they buff nightmare dungeon density that the mobs are going to die in aoe a lot easier because now it is 82% HP reduction at the highest tier. But that's not where it's going to end. Don't forget that when we're clearing these nightmare dungeons, there's something else that you get, which is glyph experience. So when you're making a new character, especially going into these seasons, and you have to level your glyphs all again to level 21, the glyph experience gives you, it's. I think the algorithm is, it's two times the tier you're at plus two. So if you do 100, a tier 100, you will now get 202 glyph experience, right? That's what you would always get, but because it's so much easier to burst through uh, through these now, you're gonna be able to level up your glyphs a lot faster. They also, if you remember from the patch notes here, if you remember this, they actually buffed Nightmare Dungeon loot rewards, both for 50% chance to drop a secondary legendary, as well as the rare items that you get upon completion. Meaning now that we're gonna blowing through these uh, dungeons faster because everything just got nerfed, that means loot acquisition is going to be a little bit easier or faster now as well. So technically, while the previous patch was kind of a nerf, Nightmare Dungeons seem to be what they're really focusing on, and this this huge nerf to or buff to the players, nerf to the Nightmare Dungeon, is actually gonna increase your per hour experience gain, as well as uh, your loot gain, as well as your glyph experience gain. So this is actually a pretty big uh, change. This is actually fairly significant. Now they fixed some other bug fixes in here, which I'm not gonna bother to go over, but if you're wondering about this Nightmare Tier Dungeon change, uh, this should actually, I believe, if you're farming the higher tier dungeons now, be faster glyph experience than, than it ever was before, probably better experience than it was before if you're able to push 10 levels above you as well. It's gonna take a bit of testing. I'm sure some people come up with spreadsheets, et cetera, that actually have the numbers on it, but I would assume this is actually probably even post nerf, probably better experience and definitely better glyph experience and probably better loot than we ever seen previously, especially once they add the nightmare dungeon density in it. So kind of uh, encouraging to see, or I don't know, it really depends upon your take. There is one counterpoint to this. Some people are saying that basically because now nightmare dungeons are nerfed, that there's not really any in-game content other than Uber Lilith. And that's kind of the only thing we do. A lot of people don't really care about Uber Lilith at all. It's just one boss. And once you beat it, you're kind of done. There's not really, it's not like a farmable thing. It doesn't drop Uber uniques or anything. So there's kind of a lack of in-game content. Now the Nightmare Tier 100 dungeon is basically achievable by most people. So for that reason, that's a fair point. Uh, their counter to this, if you watch the campfire chat and you can watch my recap on that as the previous video I uploaded, is essentially they don't want Nightmare Dungeons to be the in-game. They specifically said that. They're actually gonna be creating new content. What that is, we don't know. And when it's coming out, it's a soon.tm type of thing. But essentially, this Nightmare Dungeon is getting pushed into a position of we don't want Nightmare Dungeon Tier 100 to be like GG, the game's over afterwards. And now effectively, they're gonna be creating new content for the in-game going forward. And now this is just 
easier the farm for the players. That's about it for your news recap today. Don't forget that I am live every single day and that is in the pin com as well as descriptions, twitch.tv slash start the microtransaction and follow on Twitter because we are actually doing a giveaway for a Star Forge PC that will also be in the pinned comment. This is a free uh, PC that Starforge has given me the giveaway to the community. And if you're interested in that, I will have all the links, et cetera, down below. So shout out to Starforge. That being said, thanks for watching the video. Love you. See you on the next one.